Uh, basically, this is the Cauldron Launch and Art Park, arranged by Shane Eric for our Spring 2019 issue. All right, check it out. Hello, I am sitting here with Jeffrey Miles. What was the name of your uh, story? Uh, Wild 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 There you go. And above us is Robert Freeman, who has been in uh, both issues of Cauldron so far. He is best known for the Kaiju story, and he did a wonderful job doing Water Who wrote that Kaiju story? Sorry? Who wrote that Kaiju That would be me. But uh, there's also our mascot over here, the glowing Very cool. Here's Becca's right over here. This is Matt's sketch, Aaron Hong. This is by Jason Joswich, who's standing right in front of you. And then not here is Jason Parsons. And then back down is Matt. Behind more Robert Freeman stuff. And right behind you is Melinda. She's awesome. She's been hanging our table all night. She's great. Highlight over here. Fearless Fred Kennedy did this amazing uh, text piece for us that we're coming across. Uh, this is Jeffrey's section. Here's an original Shane Aaron. If you want to stand uh, right behind you, there's Shane right there. Uh, we're going to organize the event. Another mad sketch right over here. Aaron. Jeffrey again. This is the most wall of Jeffrey. Satanella, you've heard it here first. Character that's debuting yeah. at our show. It's a homage to the 1970s Vampirella uh, type character. A very big departure for me. Jason Tosowitz over here doing incredible work. And right over here, Ricky Lima, the editor, publisher, writer, ship eater. <laughs> I bought it all on Amazon, so it's all free. <laughs> I got somebody else to do it, right? It looks good, no? Yeah, a lot of hours waiting for the textures, waiting for all this stuff to back up, right? So, I mean, just doing that, I would have perfect markers. If you look very carefully, I mean, it took me hours just to get this to look like that. We have uh, Casey on either side writing a Robert Freeman. These are his original pages from the issue. You can see what they look like in black and white versus how they were. We're introducing the Wall of Shane. The wall of Shane. This is all Shane, and Shane was the one who organized all these lunatics to do this show. I keep saying I was hurting cats. He was. He Look. was. Sold? Sold. Oh. oh yeah. We don't mess about here. Red dog means sold? Yeah. Get that bush in there. <laughs> bush it's action. Congratulations. It's from, uh, issue one. Right? Issue one. Wow. And he did a special pin up right here. I wish either of our color cover artists were here. Uh, earlier Adam Gorham came by with his family, but uh, this is Casey's original painting. We asked for a Frazetta, and lo and behold, he gave us something that was incredible. It, it's not a copy of a Frazetta, but it's an incredible simulation of the style and look of Frazetta. And over here, we gave Adam Gorham free reign to do whatever he wants, and this is what it looks like in black and white. The man is a genius. 
and we owe him an awful lot for being so fantastic and letting us use his cover image. Here with Matthew, one of the folks that uh, runs some of the and all the different art events. Uh, what do you guys regularly do? We regularly have about four or five art shows a year. Um, usually smaller group shows or solo shows. And this time we have you guys. We have what, almost 15 artists, over 40 pieces. This is uh, almost the biggest show we've ever had. Oh wow, very cool. We're, we're proud of that actually. And where can they find you online? Uh, www.sevencrownstattoo.com or uh, Seven Crowns Tattoo on Instagram. Uh, and nobody uses Facebook anymore, so don't worry about it. And you're a tattoo parlor slash art Correct. At Young and Eglinton. Fantastic place. Thanks, man.